Hi everybody, my name is Michella Benoit and I choose the country is Jamaica so I'm gonna talk about Jamaica today I'm so excited about Jamaica I don't know why probably because most of my friend is talking about Jamaica some of them already went there they say it's beautiful and perfect so I said on my 22 birthdays so I'm going there which is very exciting so I try to learn more about the culture just in case whenever I go there so I might know a little bit about what's going on there okay so thing to see and visit in Jamaica so I was reading an article like they say like in 2015 the spectacular blue in John Crow I think that's a mountain national park that's in Jamaica which is so exciting I have um whenever you're looking at the picture like it's really nice green you know it's like Caribbean anyway so yeah so basically um the thing says once a refugee for former slave in the agents basically I think it's like about like the whole history thingy I think it was like a long time ago so they're trying to bring it. it's like a museum when you go there and then you're trying to visit new stuff like pictures everything but this one is not a museum it's like a mountain it's like where slave used to be basically there's a lot of stuff from um, fun activity and other places that we can visit it's like um, i know for most of the tourists are just like me if we like um enjoying the beach or go to a cruise because there's a lot of beaches um waterfalls and also there's something there that's very popular that's called Mata Bray. I, I don't know if that's how you um, pronounce it but Mata Bray that's the name of it yeah I heard like it's very relaxing and you can just um there's a bamboo I don't know what's the name of it you can just like stand on it and then walk across the rivers it's really fun like I'm just exciting to go there and visit it and do all this that Jamaica is a good place to do business with because they have like a good soil hair and like their product like the chemical machinery like transportation equipment like a very important and also demand in Jamaica so like for the way like um the food is growing there like the old days and then the beauty of this country so it's a good place to do business with other countries so i couldn't tell another article i was reading the article says like the united states renamed jamaica main training partner um according for almost like 40 percent 40 percent of the national total trade Jamaica other major country which is like China Japan Trinidad etc those are doing business with Jamaica and also like Jamaica doesn't like whenever they're doing like business with other other country um, they like doing text message or phone basically they like to use in like face to face which is very good with like if I want to do business with somebody or another country so i want to meet you to see like what's going on how would you be able to deal with everything which is a good thing about business hmm. it's a very good way to do business Jamaica is very low on power distance when it comes to like um the society because like everybody depends on themselves it's not like or this leadership do that it's like the leadership it's working but you don't actually see what's going on when it comes to the people so it's basically it's like oh i'm working for me or not also for me but also for my family it's like when i say family like here in usa we consider like family it's like mom brother and sister dad which is in Jamaica, so they consider like a family is like extended family all together as family like uncle, brothers, um, cousin, grandma, everything is like all related all together. Living in Jamaica, it's not 
something very very exciting at all like it i think it's in every country we can say that because like in new races some of the people are like really in a bad condition it depends um all economically how we spend our money how we spend our lives doing what we want to do or the best thing for our lives so basically in jamaica they don't have the same opportunity as us here in the usa so let's say like here in the usa we don't pay for um high school middle school elementary school we don't pay for the but back there in jamaica they do pay for them so which is a lot of money like starting with kids so you're trying to pay kindergarten till high school you still pay money for it. university is still something which is not cheap at all so it's very bad even though you have you living in high society like you have you know like middle classes which is a good standard but it's not really helpful but like for the tourist spot which is very beautiful we can go visit etc but like when it comes to the living part it's not that good back there